Oh, they're outstanding. I mean, as usual, and they're extremely talented offensively. They're a veteran group. Um, they're battle tested, and they've had a very good year so far. And they've got a lot of guys that have played a lot of big games for them. Uh, and I think they won the ACC last year with a lot of those guys, and obviously had a great year. But uh, they score, they move the ball, uh, they can beat you in a lot of different ways. They can beat you uh, in the post. They can beat you with the three. Uh, they cut. They do a great job of cutting and moving without the ball. Uh, they can get you at their pace and tempo, and, and I think that's a big, big part uh, of their game. And we've got to make sure that we can play at our pace and at the same time execute uh, in a good way and, and not give them easy possessions by giving them the ball back or by taking rush shots. And uh, I think they're really good defensively in the sense of how they challenge shots. And we got to make sure we're making the next pass uh, constantly. But they're really good, extremely well coached, and um, and they know how to win. Well, I think when we've done that, it's 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 built a. Uh, we were so conscious at Duke of not fouling and putting them on the foul line because of how many free throws they were averaging and how many times Grayson Allen was getting fouled the game. That could almost be a bad stigma in your head. I mean, we we've got to be aggressive. And again, your technique's got to be right. You can't be wild and you can't be flailing around and you don't have to be up into a guy's body. But I mean, you've got to be very conscious of it because of the way the game is being called. And you've got to be, you, that's where your footwork is crucial. Footwork and, and your hands being out and active and nowhere near the inside of your body. And I think a lot of times when you're aggressive, you have a tendency to, to want to use your hands and put your hands in near your, near your body. And it's the same thing at the post. Verticality is having your hands behind your head. Verticality is not moving up under the guy. Verticality is not, uh, you know, letting your hands come over the top and, and try to get that block. You got to be really, really detailed with it, and that takes a while for guys to get. But uh, there's a fine line between being um, you know, technique savvy and aggressive, and we got to keep continuing to find that. Now it's our next game. It's, 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 we're playing Notre Dame. I mean, there's no focus on anything other than our finals this week, improving as a team, and playing Notre Dame. Do you worry? I guess. It your guys hear too much of the outside perception <coughs> of the importance of a game like this? Or I'm not sure. Block yeah, that's, not, that's not what we talk about. So, I mean, it, uh, their, their focus has been really good on getting ready for Notre Dame. And, I mean, that's, that's what we stress to them, to, to control what you can control and, and pay attention to what matters and makes a difference. And their preparation is what makes the biggest difference. What did you make of uh, Mike Bray's comments yesterday? About, uh, we just want to win the game tomorrow. I mean, they're a really good team. We just want to win tomorrow. Did you address that at all with the team? Maybe bulletin board material? Like I said, we just want to win the game tomorrow. Is this, um, you obviously know Mike pretty well. It, it seems like, I don't want to say this is a prototypical Mike Bray team, but short bench, strong guards. I mean, is this a team that reminds you of some of, his, some of the teams you face from him over the years? Uh, they, 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 we played them a lot of times in my past as a coach. They're really good. I mean, they got a really good team, and we're just going to get ready to play this team. A lot of focus on the point guards since you're both from Indiana. What, what do you have to do against Demetrius? We have to play well against the entire Notre Dame team. They're more than a one-man team. They always are. So it's not about an individual matchup. It, it really never is. It's about team versus team and making sure that we execute uh, on both ends of the court at a high level. Do, what does he do well? High he strong. He shoots it. Uh, he's going to try to attack you. He passes the ball. He's a great pick-and-roll passer. Um, tremendous at that. Um, uses his strength well. He's always in the play. You know, that's what, one thing we try to get across to those guys. You know, whether he has the ball or not, he's always in the play. So though, that's why it's never a one-man job. you got to have everybody aware of him. You know, you had so much success in terms of shooting over the last several years in particular. Is that indicative of a combination of the work I think they put in as well as recruiting good shooters? I think it's everything, yeah. I mean, it all, it all blends in. It's all... A lot of guys have gotten better. I mean, that's the key, and the key is that you get uh, really good reps, and that you build good habits, and you stay with them, and that there's somebody around to uh, correct them in a hurry if it's not, and that's where their teammates come in when they do a lot of extra work. But um, it, it's a combination of all of that. You mentioned that Rob's not fully healthy. I mean, what what's wrong, and when? How long is he in play? Well, we just we're we just going to be ready to play the game with who we have, and and I'm not really addressing. Uh, predicting of where guys are at injury-wise or what they've got to get better at right now. And so he's, he's practicing and playing. So, but it wouldn't be, it's not, it, it doesn't make any sense for me to, you know, go over injuries. I mean, it just doesn't. He's, he's playing. It's not like it's anything that's keeping him out of the game. Zach August is really playing well for them this year. What, what, what kind of things do you have to be concerned with? Uh, aggressive. He's really aggressive on the glass. Rolling well. Posts. Uh, faces up. 
um, um, he's a senior, right? I mean, he's, he's an aggressive guy. I mean, he's, he's been in a lot of games. He had a great ending to his year, so he's got a lot of confidence. And they're good. I mean, they're, they're a well-rounded team.